Labyrinths. Of all the projects that you've had to work on right now, what was like the most memorable one or the one that you had the most fun on or like you, the one that just stands out the most? You're like, this project right here was the best because of X, Y, or Z. Yeah, that's, that's so tough. That's so tough. But um, I always go back to our first movie, which was on thin ice, you know, mm -hmm. uh, about my great grandfather. And right. I always go back to that because it was the reason why I got started on the side of the business. And it's always be a very special movie to me because of that, but also because it was about my family and, uh, yeah, it's, it was just, it's uh, cl very close to my heart and making that movie. I mean, like I said, it was guerrilla style and, uh, I was with my grandfather. We, we shot him at Ellis Island, um, finding his father's plaque, finding Jack Brooks's plaque. And, uh, and that was a crazy experience to go to Ellis Island with my grandfather and find my great grandfather's name on the walls there. Uh, as a crazy cool experience and to do it and document it on a, on film and have that movie come out and then have all these other athletes come on board, like Evander Holyfield and just to be in something so much bigger than what we were trying to do is, uh, is special. So looking back that I would have to say that I, I just don't think that, that's beatable, but I've had great. I mean, Wolf Mountain was very, very special. I mean, it's a horror slasher, so it's not, you know, it's <laughs> nothing crazy, right? Uh, right yeah. Not making the the next Gone with the Wind, but it it was uh, it was a, a cool experience for me, and I learned a lot on it and and how to meet deadlines and certain stuff like that. So I had a great time on that, and every film I do is a different experience. Um, you know, on every single one. Bandit was a great experience for me. Uh, got really close with Alan, got really close with, with uh, Josh Dumel through Alan and, and making another movie with them. So, yeah. yeah. You make relationships, you know, that way too. You know what I mean? So, um, the, yeah, yeah. and now, and also on Thin Ice, did you, were you the narrator of that? I, I was. Okay, I thought so. Sounded like you. So anyways, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, so, you know, no. you weren't trying to disguise it by, by lowering your voice or anything like that, or trying to sound like James Earl Jones or something. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so the, the second part of my question is um, who would be the like ultimate people for you to work with either on the production side or act like, you know, uh, like a cast wise like you said, if I was making a movie, I would love to work with fill in the blank. And then I'm not, you have to exclude me. I, you know, cause you can't play favorites on the show. So. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Robert De Niro, Robert De Niro would be my number one to work with for sure. Just grew up watching him in everything from the godfather to raging bull to taxi everything and i just thought he was such an incredible actor at uh, you know at a young age and just being from new york myself i just related to to him and his aura and uh and everything and my my grandfather also like we would sit and we would watch his movies like over and over and over um Goodfellas and all the New York movies because we were New York guys. So right. I would say Robert De Niro for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. We have uh, to make it happen though. I mean, you know, because you're in a position where you can make that happen, you know, to some extent. You can't force, <laughs> him, you can't force him to say yes, but you can have a, have a, have a role in mind for him and offer him the job. You can't force him to say yes, but you can't you know, threaten you, Robert De Niro. Well, can't you, you guys find a spot for Mike's movie to <laughs> put him in? Yeah, yeah well, we, well, we could get we we could have a spot for Robert De Niro, but um, I don't know that uh, we have the budget for Robert De Niro right now. <laughs> That'd be another thing. <laughs>